So I came to the conclusion that these layers were not created at the beginning of the creation of the Earth. Mm. So the night of the Earth was lit by the impact of cosmic radiation. And the day was lit by the impact of solar radiation. Out of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these layers started to build up. Mm. And as they built up gradually, they obscured the sign of the night and left the sign of the day quite obvious. And that's why Allah is showing His bounties upon us in this verse. وَجْعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنَ Allah is saying, we have made the night and the day uh, as two distinctive signs. وَجْعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنَ فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلَ Then we obscured the sign of the night. وَجْعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْصِرَةً And we made the sign of the day quite obvious, quite clear. لِتَبْتَغُوا فَضْلًا مَنْ رَبِّكُمْ So that you can seek the bounties of your Lord. وَتَبْتَغُوا فَضْلًا مَنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَلِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ So that also you can reckon the number of the years and you can count your time and, and precisely times for prayer, times for uh, giving uh, dues and rights to others, uh, time for pilgrimage, time for uh, travel, oh, time okay. for study. Uh, without the alternation of day and night, man could have never reckoned time, could have never recorded events, could have, have never known history. And this is a grace from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has obscured the sign of the night and left the sign of the day quite obvious for oh. us. Dr. Zakatulu, uh, I have a question, but we'll go for a short break, and then after the break we'll continue. Okay, inshallah. Thank you. I'll come back. Professor Zaglul, you said that cosmic radiations or cosmic rays are very harmful and they could destroy the Earth. Yes. And you also said that the protection layers were not always there. Yes. So, what protected the Earth before the protection layers were there from the cosmic radiations? A good question. You see, um, we know that our Earth is uh, as old as uh, five billion years. Uh, it took the preparation of the Earth to be suitable for living uh, almost, uh, I would say, it, almost uh, 2,000 million years, uh, slightly less, but around that, that figure. And because the oldest record of life on Earth goes back to 3.8 billion years. So 3.8 billion years, almost 1,000 to 200 million years, or 12 million, 1,200 million years, it took the Earth to be prepared, to be suitable for living. Okay. So during this phase, the atmospheric layers were created one after the other. And it was completely uh, uh, finished before the creation of the first form of life. So, uh, in the early days, the earth was impacted by cosmic radiation, okay. but there was no, no life to suffer. Oh. And probably these cosmic radiations did play a role in forming the, in, in forming the, uh, the, the earth. So, they are only harmful for the forms of life, but not only for the earth as a. No, no, a, as only harmful for living beings. Yes. But not for uh, yeah. rocks or uh, yeah. soil or anything. So like the that. earth was basically prepared for the human being to, to, uh, to serve the human being, put it that way. Well, like, not only for human beings, mm -hmm. but for, for uh, forms of life in general. Right. Mm -hmm. Because um, I do believe that um, we are not the only inhabited planet mm -hmm. in this universe. Uh, but of course, we, uh, the conditions on earth are suited mm -hmm. for this particular type of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, other plants may contain life different from what we know on Earth, but life that suits the atmospheric conditions, the, the uh, solid conditions of, of, of the planet itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for every f uh, planet, uh, there, there may be a certain uh, uh, type of, of life that suits the conditions on that planet. Mm -hmm. And I'm not bringing this from my own uh, thinking, but the Quran says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ وَهُوَ عَلَى جَمْعِهِمْ إِذَا يَشَاءُ خَدِيرٌ And the translation goes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his many signs uh, is the creation of the heavens and earth and what he has spread in them uh, out of trodders and trodders does not mean angels means creation uh, different from, from us 
وبث فيما من دابه وهو على جمعهم اذا شاء قدير and when he would like to uh, collect them back he is capable of doing that so uh, Allah is saying that uh, he has a spread life in that universe um, so uh, but uh, sadly enough scientists try to assess life mm -hmm. within the parameters of the earthly life but it does not necessarily be that mm -hmm. you see so they brought some soil from the moon and they injected it into some living beings on earth and they said no reaction so the, 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 there must be no, no life on the moon I'm not saying that there is life on the moon mm -hmm. but I'm saying that there could be certain uh, form of life that is different from ours mm -hmm. our life is built from carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur the, the basis of uh, life in other planets or other heavenly bodies must be different from life on earth but you were saying that the, the layers weren't always there is there proof uh, any proof like for example cosmic rays hitting the earth Yes, they may, the cosmic rays must have changed something, some of the properties of Earth. Oh, definitely. Is there any proof from scientists that? Oh, well, I, I don't have a proof myself, but uh, I'm sure if this point was studied carefully, it could be proved, uh, really, because the Earth was really sh uh, showered by cosmic radiation for at least uh, 1,200 million years until these protective layers were created. And once they were created in full, and the earth was protected from these excessive cosmic radiations, Allah started creating life by his instruction B, and it, it was. And life remained in the sea for uh, uh, almost uh, uh, 3,400 uh, million years in water. And there was no life on land at all. Because the oldest record of life on land uh, goes back to 400 million years. The oldest record of life in general on earth goes back to 3.8 billion years. So uh, when Allah says, mm. can reflect on that. We have created out of water every living being. So it reflects on the fact that life remained in water for 3.4 billion years before life was created on land. And this.